Good morning, my dear. Today is Friday, June 3rd. I am Reverend Gretchen Pena, and today's word is faith. Let's open with prayer. So I invite you to get still and breathe deeply. Let the breath be the transformation from the ordinary to the sacred. And in this sacred space, precious spirit, we thank you for another day in which to live and learn and grow. In spite of all the negative appearances around us, we claim our good today and we use our faith and our focus to make our world better and in so doing make the world of others better as well. We are committed, we are humble, we are grateful, and we say thank you, thank you God. Amen. <coughs> and so, faith. Charles Fillmore, the co-founder of Unity in the book, The Revealing Word, said faith is the perceiving power of the mind linked with the ability, linked with the power to shape substance. Um, and in the gospel, not the gospel, but in the epistle uh, to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1, it says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And I love, that's the King James Version. It's, it's different in the newer versions. But I love that. I love it saying faith is the substance. Because faith is not something that we um, lack ever. We always have faith. It's a given. It's part of our spiritual DNA. But where we focus our faith determines the outcome of our life, actually. Um, we can choose to focus on fearful negative things and um, build a fearful and negative life, or we can choose to focus on positive spiritual things and build a positive spiritual life. And that's my affirmation for us this morning. Um, my faith grows through spiritual focus. My faith grows through spiritual focus. So it's up to us really to determine the focus of our life, the trajectory of our life. Stuff happens that we cannot control, but we always have a choice whether to respond or to react. And when we react, we're doing the same thing that we have always done for decades, probably, um, throwing up our hands and saying, oh, oh no, the sky is falling. Um, I don't have enough money. I, my health is failing. Um, my relationship is dreadful, <clears throat> whatever. Um, and if we have always said that, we continue to build upon that, but we can always stop. We can say, wait a minute, this is not how I choose to live my life. I choose to live my life more positively and I can envision the life that I want and by prayerful focus, by focus on spiritual things, grow my faith in a positive direction. Faith is, according to the King James Version of the Bible, the substance of things hoped for. And as I think the substance is something like clay that can be molded and formed. Uh, we can't actually physically touch faith, but with our minds, we behold it, we form it, we turn it into the life that we are currently living. And if we don't like our life, we have to only look back over the past months or years and determine the focus of our thoughts. And if that has been negative, we're reaping 
the um, crop of negativity. So we need to change what we plant. So let's take a moment now and go more deeply within, recognizing that we all have faith. We all have all the faith we can ever want or need. It's a malleable commodity. And how we choose it, how we mold it, determines the quality of our lives. So let's take a moment and go more deeply within. Precious Spirit, thank you for the divine power of faith, the power to mold and shape substance. Or if we take the King James Version of the Bible, faith is the substance that we are molding and shaping by our thoughts, by our habitual thoughts, to turn into the life that we're living. And if we don't like the life we're living, we need to change our thoughts. Simple as that. Not easy, but simple. So as we go more deeply within Precious Spirit, we recognize that you have given us the will to order our lives in the way we choose. You have given us the ability to deal with the occasional negativity that arises. And to the extent that we focus on the good, that we focus on the spiritual, less and less negativity will arise in our lives. So now we take a moment to contemplate this, that with my faith, with my focus, I shape my faith. With my spiritual focus, I shape my faith in the silence. I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom now erase all mortal limitation, and from thy pure substance of love bring my world into being according to thy perfect laws. And so it is. Amen. And my dear, I thank you for joining me. <clears throat> I will be speaking this Sunday on the Holy Spirit baptism. I hope that you will join us. Namaste.